Good morning. It is Tuesday, May 19th, and I'm here by the poolside. And remember when I was a uh, young boy, it was wintertime, and my parents were about to go out for the evening. And I had come in and tattled on my sister, and I said that uh, she was playing in the pool. So they said, go tell her to quit playing in the pool. So I came back in after I'd done what I was told, and I said, uh, she won't get out. She's at the bottom of the pool. My dad immediately ran out and dove in the pool, pulled her out, uh, got her to breathe again. She was on the brink of drowning. You know, today they require alarms and fences because the pool can be a deadly thing. It looks enticing, but it can draw you down. You see, uh, every one of us are out there in that pool. Every one of us think that we know how to swim and we can tread water and that everything is okay. And then times get turbulent turbulent, and it gets difficult. Have you ever heard someone, particular maybe today, that's saying, I'm, I can barely keep my head above water. I'm just treading water right now. I'm about to go down. I'm about to go under. You hear a lot of that today. You don't have to. Just cry out to the Lord. And he is like my father, and he'll run to you. He'll dive in. He'll rescue you. He'll give you that breath of life. You just got to cry out to him. See, all it took was to alert my father, and he was there. Alert the, the, our heavenly father. Let him know. Cry out to him, and he'll come to you. The title of this morning's devotional is Jesus Will Save All Who Come to Him. In John 6:40 it says, "And this is the will of him that sent me, every one which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at that last day." You see, it's that simple to cry out to the Lord, trust in him, believe him, follow him, give your life to him. I did that at the age of 21. Never looked back. I was literally drowning in depression discouragement. I was distraught. I cried out to the Lord one night and he saved me. Never looked back. It's never been the same. He's given me new life. He breathed that breath of life in me, his Holy Spirit, and I'm a new creature. I'd encourage you to do that today. Cry out to him in prayer. May God bless you and don't let this world take you under.